what I don't apologize for is people not owning their shit and making bullshit apologies. And people will see through the bullshit and not just fake tears as queen of crying on a... What really irked me about Laura's apology, her original excuse was like, I wish I knew six years ago what I know now. Girl, how old are you? We the same age, boo. I came from a uh, from a small ass town in Illinois called Pecatonic, Illinois. Look it up with no minorities, just all white people. Like, but we still knew not to say this word, this word, this word. To literally say like, pull up your pants, you can run from the cops better. Like to say like, I didn't know that would hurt anybody. What is, that's your apology? Like, disgusting. Like, it's just disgusting. And, like, it's it's obviously this insecure little, like, mousy girl from southern who knows where. Just, like, super insecure. To this day, still so insecure. You can see through this video. Just, like, fake crying doesn't affect her at all. Like, this is not affecting her at all. Things you do not say. <laughs> like, things you don't say. Like, everybody knows better. If you were born after the year 1975, you know better, okay? It's not about being cultured. It's about, like, not saying racist shit. There's no remorse. If you're a racist person, you're a racist person, and that's just what it is. Those are tweets you can't come back from. The apology on top of it is so half-assed and such, like, a slap in the face. Like, and all this shit backfired on all of them. It just made me, like so mad like I can't I can't like contain myself it was so insulting to see her talk to all her subscribers like fake crying there was no tears kind of manipulating the situation saying like you guys are sending death threats to my mom and my niece or whatever if that's the case girl you don't put that on the internet a retweet which is more than a retweet okay to not to not acknowledge that or to have any sort of remorse it's so ignorant like it's almost like mildly like something's off with that person because that's it's it's not just wrong it's like kind of disgusting you're a christian but like you're looking at another one of god's cre creations and like and people who make racist tweets and are racists are disgusting human beings and if you don't acknowledge that if you're like hey i'm disgusting like i was brought up by disgusting ass people like if you're not acknowledging that then like no one should forgive you and you shouldn't be allowed like I don't even think you should be allowed to function, like, in society. I think they need to go to, like, a separate island and just stay there with the ignorance. To just not take responsibility for such vile tweets, a vile, disgusting. And this was like, I didn't know. I didn't know that this could hurt somebody. That's the craziest thing. That's the... It, like actually kind of disgusts me jesus girl like what like i think this person needs to reevaluate herself if she's not seeing like the disgustingness that is her you're a disgusting human being for saying that stuff that apology girl it's bullshit if you're a follower of hers it's bullshit that is not how you do an apology that is not how you do an apology especially as a racist it's sad it's sad and it's sick degrading humans and like making fun of them for literally something they can't change racists shouldn't be allowed on youtube <laughs> they just shouldn't plain and simple even if you're brought up one way you do know better i mean this is we're in we're, we're past 1990 we're past 1980s and like you know not to be an ignorant asshole you said racist shit like own that and don't be like i didn't mean i didn't think it would hurt anybody they always say hindsight 2020 so you're in hindsight right now girl like how what